Well, everyone, such an opinionated video that I'm going to be making right now, but I do want to let you guys know that in my opinion, the best iPhone that Apple has ever made, Apple doesn't sell anymore, you know? So when you think about it, every single keynote Apple has ever done, they say, oh, this is the best iPhone we've ever made, this and that, and all that stuff. And yeah, it's probably true. But in my opinion, I think the best iPhone that has ever been made from Apple is the iPhone 11 Pro Max. This is the best iPhone, I think, by a long shot. And the bigger thing to keep in mind is that from the 11 series to the 12 series, there really wasn't that crazy big of a change besides the flat sides, which I think is a notable change. But everything else besides that, I really don't think it was that big of an upgrade, to be honest. And in some ways, as I mentioned before, it was almost like a downgrade from the predecessor to the successor. And it's not every single iPhone that this happens to. I think the 10s to the iPhone 11. 11, you know, the 11 Pro to be exact, that was a huge update in my opinion. That was a very worthwhile change, the 10R to the 11. Even from the iPhone 7 to the iPhone 8, that was a pretty big change, especially when you factor in the iPhone 10. But for some reason this year, you know, the 12 Pro Max, it just kind of stuck with me that it was a bigger phone, which I really didn't really understand too much why they made it even bigger. But on top of that, they made the battery life and the battery size smaller than the predecessor. But even more so on top of that, I truly do believe that the display on the 11 Pro Max is the best display Apple has ever made. And I do think that it's better than the the 12 Pro Max and I think it's kind of hard to tell if you're not looking at them side by side. If you look at the 12 Pro Max's display, it definitely looks great. Like I'm not going to lie, that's a very good looking panel. But when you look at the iPhone 12, you know, 11 Pro Max display and you look at them side by side, you can even look back at the comparison I did not too long ago. That was, you know, for some reason a better panel than the 12 Pro Max and I'll never understand why I'm not part of Apple's, you know, screen display manufacturer side. So I don't know what they're doing there. Maybe they changed, you know, suppliers or something but that was something that really shocked me and the more and more i do these videos you know the other day i did the 11 pro max you know top five reasons to buy it and i talked about you know the iphone 12 pro max you know six months later and that got me thinking dude like if apple still sold the 11 pro max i think that would be probably a better deal than the current 12 pro max in my opinion obviously if they kept it the same price and that's a little bit different but i think as a whole if they just ripped out the you know a14 bionic chip from the 12 pro max and put it inside the 11 pro max i honestly do think that may be a better phone than the current 12 pro max to be honest the cameras i didn't really see that big of a difference and on top of that the 12 pro max is very top heavy from what i've seen from what i've played with it from you know you have to still have it i feel like the 12 pro max is more top heavy than a lot of other phones which is pretty crazy in my opinion and that's a pretty insane thing for sure you know it's already a massive phone by having it that top heavy it really threw me off a little bit so i think ultimately you know apple currently doesn't sell the best phone they've ever made you know i think the 11 pro max was the best iphone they ever made and i feel like the 12 pro max was a downgrade looking forward though the 13 pro max or whatever they're going to call it that is going to be from what i've heard a pretty good update for sure it's going to bring a lot of capability my only concern is i really hope they don't increase the price tag if they end up doing that i'm probably going to be fairly sad but i guess we'll see what happens when we get there if you guys have any other questions or if you want to buy an 11 pro max links will be down in the description you can get them from amazon help support the channel at the same time hit the like button that would mean so much but definitely hit that subscribe button more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then